Hey guys, welcome to the level two flies class today. For this week, it's gonna be our final week focusing on the lower abs. So all you're going to need today is a mat, a headrest, and a foam roller. So let's get started on our hands and knees for the warm up. Wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. We're gonna start by looking down between the knees and ribcage coming up towards the ceiling. And then dropping the ribcage down and looking up. Again, looking down in between the knees, ribcage coming up as high as you can. And then dropping the ribcage down and looking up. Again, looking down in between the knees, ribcage coming up as high as you can. Dropping the ribcage down and looking up. Two more here, looking down in between the knees, ribcage coming up as high as you can. Dropping the ribcage down and looking up. Last one here, looking between the knees, ribcage up as high as you can go. Dropping the ribcage down and looking up. Come to a neutral flat back, chin tucked in. You extend the right leg back, left arm forward, ribcage tucked down, circles with the arm leg for five, four, three, two, and one. Left leg back, right arm forward, circles again for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to shift all of our weight coming on to the left side, right leg back, right arm forward, dropping that right hip down, circles for five, four, three, two, and one. Shifting all of our weight coming on to that right side, the left leg back, left arm forward, tucking the rib cage down, circles again for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to the middle. We've got both of our toes underneath us. Rib, or, sorry, rib cage. Shoulder blades coming down, pinching them together. Arms staying extended. We're gonna lift both of our knees up a couple inches. Lift the right foot up and down. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right hand to left shoulder. Left to right, right to left. Left to right, right to left, left to right, and relax it down. Pop it on to our back now. Arms are side, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Bring the legs up to tabletop position, and print the spine and rib cage coming down. Tap on the right foot off the mat, and the left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Few more here, tapping a bit further down the mat. Good, keeping that rib cage tucked down. And knees and ankles together, tapping both feet down, keeping the shoulders relaxed, keeping the rib cage tucked down. Good, a few more here, tapping a bit further away now. And three, two, and one, and relax down. Both feet flat on the mat. We're gonna bring both arms come across our chest. And print the spine, lifting the hips up and down. And lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Make sure it's slow and controlled as we're coming down. And lift, and lift, and lift. Last one and lift and relax it down. Keeping the arms across the chest. We're going to lift both the hips up, imprint and then lift, keeping the hips up. Arms staying across our chest. Bring the elbows down to make it a bit easier. We're gonna bring our right leg into tabletop and down. So we're gonna go for marching, we're just alternating right leg to left leg coming into tabletop. Keeping the hips up. Don't let the hips drop. 
Good, keeping the rib cage tucked down so the back isn't arched. Good. Halfway there. Don't let the hips drop, keeping them up. Good. Last two. Last one. And relax them down. Grab the foam roller. Bring the foam roller underneath the feet. So both feet coming out to the foam roller. Arms are aside. Shoulders nice and relaxed. And put the spine lifting the hips up and down. And lift. 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 Two more. Last one. And relax them down. Keeping both feet on the formula this time we're bringing our elbows into the mat. Make sure starting with the imprint, we're cage coming down, lifting the hips up and down. And lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift. And lift. And lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Last one, and relaxing down. This time we're gonna bring both of our arms coming across our chest. Imprinting the spine to start, keeping the lower back flat, lifting the hips up, and down. And lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, two more, and lift, last one, and lift, and relax it down. Bring our left foot coming onto the foam roller now. The left foot on the foam roller, arms on our side, right leg coming to tabletop. Start by imprinting the spine. Lifting the hips up, driving the right knee to the chest, and down. And lift. Lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Two more. Last one. And relax it down. Right foot coming onto the foam roller. Bring our left leg in the tabletop. And again, arm to the other side. And print the spine, lifting the hips up and down. And lift, 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 and lift. Good, two more. Last one. And relax it down. Bring our left foot coming onto the foam roller now. Right leg's coming from the tabletop, elbows into the mat. And print the spine, rib cage coming down, lifting the hips up and down. And lift, and lift, and lift, 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 past halfway. Lift, good, a few more. Lift, and lift, last one. And lift, and relaxing down. Right foot coming onto the foam roller now. Left leg coming tabletop. Elbows into the mat. Imprint the spine, lifting the hips up and down. And lift. And lift, 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 a few more, and lift, and lift, last two, last one, and relax 
to down. Bring the left leg coming onto the foam roller. Right leg on the tabletop. To make this one a bit harder, arm across the chest, make it a bit easier. Right elbow into the mat, left arm across the chest. In front of the spine, lifting the hips up and down. And lift, 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 and lift. Good. Three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Right foot coming onto the front roller. Left leg into the tabletop. Again, can start with the arms across the chest. If you want to make it a bit easier, left elbow onto the mat, right arm across the chest. And for the spine, lift the hips up and relax. And lift, 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 two more, and lift, last one, and lift, and relaxing down, bring the foam roller off to the Side now, going back onto our back. Legs extended, flat on the mat. Arms extended overhead. Big breath in. As we exhale, tucking the face down. Chin towards the chest, rolling up, reaching forward, trying to touch the toes. Keeping the arms extended at natural level and then slowly rolling back down. Again, chin the chest rolling up, reaching forward as far as you can, trying to go a bit further this time. As you're rolling back, think about keeping both legs extended on the mat to let them come up. Arms to natural level, keeping a nice rounded spine as you're coming back down. And again, chin the chest rolling up, reaching further again, and then slowly rolling back down. And again, chin the chest rolling up, reaching forward, slowly rolling back down. And again, keeping the arms extended overhead. Chin and chest rolling up, reach as far as you can go, and slowly rolling back down. And a few more here. Chin and chest rolling up, reach as far as you can go, slowly rolling back down. Last two. Chin and chest rolling up, and reach. Slowly rolling back down. Last one here. Chin and chest rolling up, reaching forward, and slowly rolling back down. And relax. Arms on our side, legs coming to the tabletop, imprint the spine. Arms extended overhead. We're going to tap both feet coming down the mat. Arms coming extended overhead as we're tapping down. And up. Keeping the knees and ankles together. Good. Don't let the back arch as we're extending back. Three. Two. And one. Relaxing down. Bring the legs coming back to the tabletop. Imprint the spine. I'm going to 
we'll start by lifting both our hips up into the air and slowly rolling them back down and slow and controlled. Point up and down. And up and down. Good. Slow and controlled as we're coming down. We're halfway. Good. Three. Two. And one. Relaxing down. Legs on back up to tabletop. And print the spine. Gonna send the left leg forward down towards the mat. Right leg extend up in the air. And then switching sides. So left leg's gonna be extended, right leg down towards the mat. I'm gonna switch sides each time, keeping the rib cage tucked down. Good. And switch, 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 good, switch, 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 a few more here, good, last two, last one, and relax and down. Legs coming back up to the tabletop position. And print the spine, rib cage coming down. Arms coming extended overhead. Rib cage stuck down. Chin to the shoulder, up in the boat's pose. Knees and ankles together. Arms at shoulder level. We're gonna start by extending the right leg forward and then left. And right, left, 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 right. Good. Last one. And relax you down. So stay in this position. Heels on the mat. Knees and ankles together. Our arms can come directly behind us. Slight bend in the elbows. So we're gonna stay in that boat pose position. The arms here are just more for support, keep our balance. So if you want, make it a bit easier. Bring your hands a bit wider. Bring your hands a bit closer to the mat. Make it a bit tougher. Make sure we're keeping that slight bend in the elbows the whole time. So, knees and ankles together to start and make sure Shoulders aren't coming up towards the ears. Shoulders are coming down. So we're gonna start by lifting the heels up, tucking our knees in towards our chest, then leaning back, extending the legs forward. Going for a reverse crunch. Good. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and relax. Again, next one here, knees and ankles coming together. Big thing to focus on, the knees are gonna to wanna to come apart when we're doing this. Try and keep our knees and ankles tight together the whole time while we're doing these movements. So knees and ankles together. Next one here, we're going for flutter kicks. So lifting the heels up, extending the legs, flutter kicks for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relaxing down. Next one here, we're going for scissor kick, so one leg on top of the other. Make sure, again, keeping that rib cage tucked down, core is engaged. Extend the legs forward, scissor kicks for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relaxing down. Next one here, we're gonna go for leg lowers. So with the leg lowers, we're gonna try and keep the knees and ankles together, lowering the heels down towards the mat. If that's too difficult, just hold the heels up 
and don't let the heels drop. Keep the legs extended the whole time. So, so if I extend the legs forward, if you could just hold it there, hold it there. If not, make it a bit tougher, lower the heels towards the mat and back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relaxing down. It's gonna work. We're gonna go through that rotation one more time. This time we're gonna go a bit quicker. So start with knees and hands together. Make sure knees are tight together. Going for the reverse crunches and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relaxing down. Next here we're going for the flutter kicks and the scissor kicks. Again, start with the knees and ankles together. Legs extended for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh. And relax. Finishing off here with the leg lowers, or if you're at the leg lowers the first time, it's getting a bit difficult. Just do the leg holds. Again, arms at the side, knees and ankles tight together. Send the legs forward, lower down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relaxing down. Popping on to our back now. Arms are aside. Shoulders nice and relaxed. We're gonna bring our legs coming up to the tabletop. Imprint the spine, extend the legs forward or up it towards the ceiling. Side legs to the right, bending the left leg, and to the left, bending the right leg. For three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Extend the legs up. We're gonna go circles clockwise for one, two, three, four, five. Switching directions for one, two, three, four, and five. And relaxing down. Legs come back up to the tabletop. Imprint the spine, extend the legs up. Going for flutter kicks, long and slow. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relaxing down. Again, we're gonna go scissor kicks this time. Longer and slower. Legs to the tabletop. <clears throat> and print seven legs for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relaxing down. The last one here. Legs come to the tabletop. And print the spine, extend the legs up, lowering the heels down. And up, keeping that rib cage tucked down. Good, halfway. And four, three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Extending both legs down the mat. For finish, going with a cool down stretch, hugging the right knee in towards the chest. Keeping the shoulder relaxed. Hmm. Great work, guys. Just hop one side. Swing the right leg down over to the left side, right arm. Coming up 45 degrees. Using the left hand, gently push down the right knee. 
Try and keep the right shoulder down on the ground. Sorry about that. Right leg is in, left knee into the chest. Turn the left leg down over to the right side, left arm coming up 45 degrees. Keeping the left arm in contact with the ground. Right hand gently pushing down the left knee. Coming back to the middle, both feet flat on the mat, ground the back of the left thigh, hugging it in towards the chest, extending the left leg up towards the ceiling. Twist on the sides, got in the back of the left side, extend the leg up towards the ceiling. And relax, going on to Stomach now. Onto our tummy. Forearms on the mat. Wrists underneath the shoulders make it a bit easier. Bring the wrist a bit further out to the side of the mat, but keep it on at shoulder level. We're going to start by slowly looking up towards the ceiling, lifting the chest up off the mat. Come into a modified cobra if you come a bit further. Keep extending the arms, try and bring our chest up towards the ceiling and then slowly coming back down. And again, looking up towards the ceiling, chest coming proud, pushing up, and then slowly rolling back down. And again, looking up towards the ceiling, chest coming proud, pushing away, and then slowly rolling back down again. And again, looking up towards the ceiling, chest coming proud, pushing away. And then slowly rolling back down again. A couple more here. Looking up towards the ceiling again, chest coming proud, pushing away. And then slowly rolling back down. Final one here. Looking up towards the ceiling, chest coming proud, pushing away. Up as high as you can, slowly rolling back down. Come up on both knees, feet together, knees as wide as the mat, sinking the hips back to the heels, walking our hands forward, chest coming as close to the mat as we can, keeping the hips back at the heels. Alright guys, that's it for today. Great job. Have a good rest of your week.